morning. Myself, Gopi Kanan, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering from PSR Engineering College, Sevagasi. Today, I am going to discuss the topic Operators in C++. First, what is meant by operator and what are the types of operators? Operator performs some actions. Here, operator is a symbol that is used to perform some mathematical operations <coughs> or logical operations. Take an example A plus B. Here, plus is the arithmetic operator, A and B are the operands. Here, plus operator is used to add the values of the variables A and B. Next, types of operators. Totally, 8 types of operators. First one is arithmetic operators. Here, plus, minus, star, divide, modulo. These operators are comes under the arithmetic operators. These operators are used to perform some arithmetical operations. Then second one is relational operators. Less than, less than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal, equal, not equal. These operators are used to compare the values of two operands or to find the relationship between the two variables. The third one is logical operators. The logical operators are logical and logical or logical not. These operators are used to combine the two or more conditions. The logical operator result is log Boolean value, either true or false. Then fourth one is assignment operators. Equal to the assignment operator. This operator is used to assign the value to the variable. Then fifth one is increment or decrement operators. Here, plus plus is a increment operator, then minus minus is a decrement operator. This increment operator is used to increase the variable value by 1. The decrement operator is used to decrease the variable value by 1. Next one is conditional operators. Here, the conditional operators is similar to if else statement. If if else statement, if check the condition, if the condition is true means the true block is executed. If the condition is false means the false block is executed. The seventh one is bitwise operators. The bitwise operators are bitwise and bitwise or bitwise XR. These operators works on bits. It performs bit by bit operations. Then eighth one is special operators. Here special operators are size of comma, then scope resolution, double colon. Double colon is called as scope, res scope resolution operator. The next new and delete operator. These are the comes under the special operators. Let us discuss one by one. First one is arithmetic operator. Here the arithmetic operators are already you know plus, minus, star, divide, modulo. These operators are used to perform some arithmetical operations. Take one example. Um, take two variables A and B. Apply the arithmetic operators on between these two variables. Uh, so A plus B. Here A plus B means addition. Then similarly minus is a subtraction. Then division, modulo and modulo divisions. Okay. Next, relational operator. The relational operators are less than, less than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal, equal, not equal. These operators are used to compare the values of two operands or to find the relationship between the two variables. Then third one is logical operators. The logical operators are double end. Double end is called as logical end. Then double pipeline symbol is called as logical or then exclamatory symbol is called as logical not. These operators are used to combine two or more conditions. This logical operator result is Boolean value, either true or false. The table shows the logical operator and meaning. The double end is called as logical and the double pipeline symbol is called as logical R, then logical not. Exclamatory symbol is called as logical not. The truth table for logical operators uh, take two conditions. Assume A is an one condition and B is an another one condition. If both conditions are true, the logical end result is true. The logical R result is also true. But if any one of the condition is false, the logical end result is false, but logical R result is true. If both conditions are false, the logical end result is also false, the logical result is also false. Then assignment operator. Here equal is assignment operator. This operator is used to assign the value to the variable. Uh, this is the syntax for assignment operator left side is equal to right side here equal is as operate equal is assignment operator uh, the left side is an identifier then right side is an either literal or 
identifier or expression. Take an example here literal i is equal to 1. The value 1 is assigned to the variable i or identifier is equal to identifier. Some identifier is assigned to another one identifier or expression. Here so one expression is assigned to the variable sum. So here sum is an identifier. Next shorthand operator. Here shorthand operators are plus equal, minus equal, star equal, divide equal. These are all called as compound assignment operators. Uh, take an example. X is equal to X plus 3. Uh, here X plus 3 is an e expression. This e first e evaluate the expression X plus 3. After evaluating the expression, the result of expression is stored into the variable X. Here uh, the right side updating the variable X. Uh, the update after updation, the value of result is stored into the uh, same variable X. This X is equal to X plus 3. It can be written as x plus equal to 3 here plus equal to is a compound assignment operator similarly the x is equal to x minus 3 it can be written as x minus is equal to 3 same x is equal to x star 3 is it can be written as x star is equal to 3 then x equal to x divided by 3 is equivalent to x divided divide equal to 3 next ternary or conditional operator uh, already you know the conditional operator is similar to if else statement uh, here if else statement means it check the condition if the condition is true means the execute some statements if the condition is false means execute some other statements the syntax for conditional or ternary operator variable is equal to expression 1 here expression 1 means check one condition question mark then expression 2 expression 2 means the true block uh, colon expression 3 here expression 3 is an false block yeah, first check the condition expression 1 if the expression 1 is true means the expression 2 is evaluated if the expression 1 means uh, expression 1 is false means the expression 3 is evaluated take one example uh, here there are three variables are declared a b and c uh, the value 5 is assigned to the variable a and the value 6 is assigned to the variable b first check the condition a is less than b if the condition is true means uh, the expression 2 is evaluated here the expression 2 is an a so the value of a is assigned to the variable c suppose if the condition is false means uh, the expression 3 is evaluated here the expression 3 is b so the value of b is assigned to the variable c next increment and decrement operator here increment is a plus plus the decrement is a minus minus here the increment operator is used to increase the variable value by 1 the decrement operator is used to decrease the variable value by 1. Take one example, x is equal to 10. Here that value 10 is assigned to the variable x. After assigning, uh, apply the increment operator to that variable x. After execution, the value of x is changed into 11. Then another one example, x is equal to 100. Here the 100 is assigned to the variable x. Then apply the decrement operator x minus minus. After execution, the x value is changed into 99. First, the x. initially the x value is 100. After applying the decrement operator, the x value is changed into 99. Then bitwise operators. The bitwise operators works on bits and it performs bit by bit operation. There are three types of bitwise operators. Bitwise and bitwise or bitwise XR. Here the <coughs> bitwise and the result of bitwise and is 1 if both bits are 1. <coughs> the bitwise are the result of R is 1 if any one of the bit is 1. The bitwise XR, the result of XR is 1. The both bits are different. Take an example. Take two variables A and B. The value is 5 is assigned to the variable A and the value 4 is assigned to the variable B. Uh, these are the decimal values. Let's convert this decimal value into binary values. So the binary value for 5 is 101. The binary value for 4 is 100. Uh, take the true table. Uh, the binary value for A is 101, the binary value for B is 100, uh, apply the bitwise operators, so bit, bitwise and A and B, uh, if both bits are 1, the bitwise and result is 1, the bitwise R result is 1, the bitwise XR result is 0, if both bits are 0, the bitwise and result is 0, bitwise R result is 0, the bitwise XR is a result also 0. If both bits are different, the bitwise and result is 0, bitwise R and bitwise XR result is 1. Then special operators. Here the special operators are size of, comma, scope resolution. Scope resolution means the double colon. Double colon is called a scope resolution operator. 
then new and delete operators first one is size of operator this operator is used to find the size of a particular variable then comma operator the comma operator is used to separate the variable values take one example if you want to declare the two variables a and b under the type integer at the time we use the comma operator is used to separate the variables a and b then scope resolution operator double colon is called a scope resolution it is used to access the global variables already you know the local variable and global variables the so what is my local variable the local variables are and the variables are declared inside the function or inside the main function that type of variables are called as local variables the variables are accessed only within a function then global variables means the variables are declared before the main function that type of variables are called as global variables that variables are accessed throughout the program access anywhere in the program if you want to access the global variable at the time we use scope resolution operator then new operator new operator is used to allocate the memory for a variable at run time then delete operator the delete operator is used to deallocate the memory for a variable at run time thank you